This is a recording for pre-calculus, and this is section seven, six uh, examples, and uh, this is part two, and we're working on linear programming. I had asked you to, um, or told you that if, if you wanted and had time, uh, you could try example four, and uh, now we'll, we'll take some time and look at it. It says find the maximum value of uh, z equals uh, 4x plus 2y where x is greater than zero, y is greater than zero, and then also subject to the following constraints. So if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and, and graph that. We know x is greater than zero, so the y-axis is a boundary, and, and we're going to the left, or to the right, excuse me, and um, y is greater than zero, so greater than or equal to zero, so um, the x-axis is a boundary as well. And um, so we then have, there we go, um, x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 4, so x plus 2y equals 4 is our equation, 2y is negative x plus 4. When we divide by 2, y is negative 1 half x plus 2, and so we have a uh, intercept, and our slope is negative 1 half, so down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, and this is a solid line. You should be getting pretty good at this. We've, we've had quite a bit of practice right now, and um, So that's that. If I try my favorite point, um, which is 0, 0, because it doesn't cross there. Just FYI, reminder, if it does hit the uh, origin, I can't use 0, 0 as a point to check. I put it in the original. Is 0 greater than or equal to 4? No. So this is going to be shaded out uh, to the to the right and up. So there's that part. And it does go, you know, kind of beyond there as as we look at that. Then we've got also 3x plus y is greater than or equal to 7. So 3x plus y equals 7 is our equation. y equals negative 3x plus 7. And so 7 is our intercept. And negative 3, down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1. I get a couple points there. Uh, that is our where our graph is going to be. And I'm going to just have to fix that a little. And uh, I can again try one of my favorite points, uh, 0, 0 is what I'm going to check. Is 0 greater than or equal to 7? 0 is not greater than or equal to 7, so I'm going to shade kind of out this way from there. So. So that's going to go that way. Um, and then my last one is that uh, negative x plus 2y is less than or equal to 7. So negative x plus 2y equals 7. 2y equals x plus 7. y equals 1 half x plus 7 halves. And, you know, I think I'm, I'm going to just try plotting 3 and a half, 1, 2, 3 and a half is kind of right there. And 1 half is my slope. So up 1 over 2. Up. Just kidding. Up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2 would be right there, really. Up 1 over 2. I'll have a couple of points there. And then let me draw that one. And 
And then I check my favorite point. Is zero less than or equal to seven? The answer is yes. And uh, so I'll shade below there. And uh, at this point, uh, I'm I'm going to just do that shading. Uh, zero is greater than or equal to seven, which is not true. And uh, so for this one, or zero is less than or equal to seven. I'm sorry, I was looking at the red instead of the purple. I've been away a little bit here. And uh, zero is less than seven, and so I'm going to shade below for that one. And um, and so that's going to be, you know, and I, I'm only going to go, let's see, I, I know I need my overlapping parts. So I'm just going to go where these overlap and kind of put that, uh, since I, I kind of know about that as we go below. And um, so that is what happens there. And I'm, I'm going to uh, stop this recording and call this 2A, and then I'll start again with a 2B. So this is 2A, and then I'll pick it up with 2B.